Well, he asked for a video, so I'll make a video. Um, I'm actually, the app that you show works fine too, but uh, this app I like because it has a, uh, oops, has a keyboard so you can program buttons so you can have the commands loaded in. And it seems to work great with this, so I'll turn it on. And what I had reversed was on here, I'll cover up the green light and hopefully we can focus. Actually, I'm turn it off. Um, Yeah, I had uh, the green was on the far, and that was just because the the ribbon cable lined up that way. So it was brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, um, and I just flipped them around because uh, I I looked at it really closely. And I was constantly looking at this for the problem, and I didn't really look that closely on here. And I noticed, okay, well let's just check the order, and I looked and saw that uh, transmit was yellow. When I went over here, it was hooked up green. So I just flipped it around, and now it works. So that's problem solved. So here it is working. Um, powers on, runs. I actually uh, 3D printed um, all the parts um, and the helmet too, which uh, will be, uh, I'll make a mold from. I'm not going to use the 3D printed one, but I'll make a second 3D printed one just so I can say it's a 3D printed helmet. But, um, yeah, so it's very much still a work in progress. Uh, I gotta go back and paint the backs again. This uh, acrylic paint is awful. So here's the app. Oh, I don't want to uninstall. I'm not gonna look through the screen. Open. So uh, connect, connect, and it's a little bit simpler. I mean, I, I would say I use this app instead of the other one, but I guess it's a a choice. Um, Either one works. So the command line works the same way yours. You type in text and it gives you back the reply. I like the keyboard mode because you can load stuff in so I can load that. And it, uh, yeah, works great. Thank you for doing all the hard work and the coding. I know code. I just would rather not do it on my day off. I'd rather build things. So yeah, and it still gives the same. Get the focus right there. Uh, it still says the same stuff, display mode. I can type in, you know, the same code that you do. So I just like it because there's a keyboard for it. Um, and it works out really great. I don't know if, uh, I know you have those animations on there. I was wondering if there's any way to get animations loaded on there rather than just text. But maybe when you release an update, um, that'll work too. So, yeah, I can't see shit. Um, you can see through it. It's just, I don't want to walk around at night. Other question, maybe you can answer this. I know on your, get my focus look away from the, uh, there we go. There's up here, these three pins. Is that a programming header? So I wouldn't have to take the chip off here to program it. I could just hook up, uh, three pins for a programming header. Anyways, yeah, if you want to see a video, there's a video of it working. Works great. Um, it'd be nice, maybe you can reply in an additional tweet, um, if there's a, a setting on here that can actually do the reset rather than hit the button. I'm actually going to cram all this in the helmet uh, rather than have a wire go down to my pocket for the, the battery pack. So this is all going to fit, be self-contained. Um, obviously not going to work for the Guy Man Manuel, Man Manuel helmet because uh, it runs off from your most recent video uh, for D size batteries. But yeah, it'd be nice to have the reset be a, a phone, be a command. If you want to tweet me the command, that'd be great. But yeah, there you go. There's your video. I talk a lot. So.